Edmund of Langley, 1st Duke of York, K.G. was the fourth surviving son of King Edward III of England and Philippa of Hainaut. Like many medieval English princes, Edmund gained his nickname from his birthplace, King's Langley Palace in Hertfordshire. He was the founder of the House of York, but it was through the marriage of his younger son, Richard of Connorsburg, 3rd Earl of Cambridge to Under Mortimer, great-granddaughter of Edmund's elder brother Lionel of Antwerp, first Duke of Clarence, that the House of York made its claim to the English throne in the Wars of the Roses. The other party in the Wars of the Roses, the incumbent House of Lancaster, was formed from descendants of his elder brother John of Gaunt, first Duke of Lancaster, Edward III's third son, early years. On the death of his godfather, the Earl of Surrey, Edmund was granted the Earl's land north of the Trent, primarily in Yorkshire. In 1359, he joined his father King Edward III on an unsuccessful military expedition to France and was made a Knight of the Garter in 1361. In 1362, at the age of 21, he was created Earl of Cambridge by his father. Military career Edmund took part in several military expeditions to France in the 1370s. In 1369, he brought a retinue of 400 men-at-arms and 400 archers to serve with John Hastings, second Earl of Pembroke, on campaigns in Brittany and Angoulême. The following year, he first joined Pembroke again on an expedition to relieve the fortress of Belpercha and then accompanied his eldest brother Edward, the Black Prince, on a campaign that resulted in the siege and sack of Limoges. In 1375, he sailed with the Earl of March to relieve Brest, but after some initial success, a truce was declared. In 1381, Edmund led an abortive expedition to join with the Portuguese in attacking Castile as part of the Fernandine Wars. But after months of indecisiveness, a peace was again declared between Spain and Portugal, and Edmund had to lead his malcontented troops home. Edmund was appointed Constable of Dover Castle and Warden of the Singports on 12 June 1376 and held office until 1381. He acted as Keeper of the Realm in 1394-95 when his nephew, King Richard II of England, campaigned in Ireland and presided over Parliament in 1395. He was also Keeper of the Realm in 1396 during the King's brief visit to France to collect his child bride Isabella of Valois. The Duke was left as custodian of the realm in the summer of 1399 when Richard II departed for another extended campaign in Ireland. In late June of that year, the exiled Henry Bolingbroke landed at Bridlington in Yorkshire. He raised an army to resist Bolingbroke, then decided instead to join him, for which he was well rewarded. He thereafter remained loyal to the new Lancastrian regime as Bolingbroke overthrew Richard II to become King Henry IV. Later life, on 6 August 1385, Edmund was elevated to Duke of York. In Richard II's will, Edmund was highly emphasized as the king's heir despite the stronger claims of Henry of Bolingbroke and Edmund Mortimer. This was not due to any preference Richard had for Edmund, but rather a desire the king had to set Edmund's son, Edward, on the throne. Towards the end of his life, in 1399, he was appointed Warden of the West March for a short period. Edmund of Langley died in his birthplace and was buried there in the Church of the Mendicant Friars. His dukedom passed to his eldest son, Edward. Marriage Langley's first wife, Isabella, was a daughter of King Peter of Castile and Maria de Padilla. She was also the sister of the Infanta Constance of Castile, the second wife of Langley's brother John of Gaunt. They had two sons and a daughter. Edward of Norwich, second Duke of York, killed in action at the Battle of Agincourt. Constance of York, great-grandmother of Queen Anne Neville. Richard of Connorsburg, 3rd Earl of Cambridge, executed for treason by Henri V. Ancestor of Kings Edward IV, Edward V, and Richard III of the House of York, and all succeeding monarchs of England beginning with King Henry VIII.
whose mother Elizabeth of York was his great-granddaughter. After Isabella's death in 1392, Langley married his cousin Joan Holland, whose great-grandfather Edmund of Woodstock, 1st Earl of Kent, was the half-brother of Langley's grandfather Edward II. She and Langley were thus both descended from King Edward I. The marriage produced no children. Shakespeare's Duke of York Edmund, the first Duke of York, is a major character in Shakespeare's Richard II. In the play, Edmund resigns his position as an advisor to his nephew Richard II, but is reluctant to betray the king. He eventually agrees to side with Henry Bolingbroke to help him regain the lands Richard confiscated after the death of Bolingbroke's father. John of Gaunt. After Bolingbroke deposes Richard and is crowned Henry IV, Edmund discovers a plot by his son or Merle to assassinate the new king. Edmund exposes the plot, but his wife Isabella convinces Henry to pardon her son. Ancestry. Bibliography. Peggy K. Liss, Isabel the Queen, New York, Oxford University Press, 1992, 165, James Ruston, Jr., Dogs of God, New York, Doubleday, 18, Douglas Biggs, A Wrong Whom Conscience and Kindred Bid Me to Write, A Reassessment of Edmund of Langley, Duke of York and the Usurpation of Henry IV, Albion, 26, pp. 231 to 246. Douglas Biggs, to aid the custodian in council, Edmund of Langley and the Defense of the Realm, June July 1399, Journal of Medieval Military History, I, pp. 125 to 144. Douglas Biggs, a voyage or rather and expedition to Portugal, Edmund of Langley in Iberia 1381-82, Journal of Medieval Military History 7, pp. 57-74. Douglas Biggs, Three Armies in Britain, The Irish Campaign of Richard II and the Usurpation of Henry IV, 1399, Brill Academic Publishers, Leiden, The Netherlands, 2006.